You guys have been asking for it, and today's the day. We're gonna make a big dragon egg. So the first thing I need to do is decide which piece of burl I want to use, and I'm torn between these three pieces. My original plan was to use this one, because it's a perfect size for the mould I've got, but I'm just not too happy about how thick it is. I just wanted to make this egg really large, and I just don't know whether that's enough burl to do that. I've got another piece here that's a little bit thicker, but not by much. Now I have got this really thick piece here, but the only problem is, it doesn't quite have that nice texture on top. You can see here with these other pieces, they've got the real nice ridges and bumps, and they look really cool when they're in resin. After thinking about it, I'm going to go with my original choice. Now if this egg turns out to be not as big as I want it to be, it just gives me a good excuse to make another video. The first thing I need to do is shape my piece of burl. Now I'm going to do that by using my disc sander, and I need to shape it so I've got a nice snug fit in the bottom of the container. So you can see there, we've got a nice snug fit. I'm just going to run over the burl with a wire brush, just to remove any loose pieces. Then I'll blow it down with my air gun, and then it'll be ready to paint. I found a couple of loose pieces in here, so I just want to make sure that I pick them out. That way they don't start floating around in the resin. It actually looks like this piece of burl has a little bit of rot in there, but I think it'll be okay. Looks all nice and clean, so now it's time for paint. So I've got my little box of goodies here, so let's decide what colour we're going to use. I've got some of these UV colour changing pigments from Solar Colour Dust. These are the ones that change colour when you put them out in the sun. If I use my UV torch, you can see how they change colour. Now that's a pretty cool effect, but I think I'll go something a little different. I think I'll go with the colour shifting flakes. This one shifts from green to red, depending on the angle of light. To get the best results out of colour shifting flakes, it's best to paint your project a dark colour. So I'm going to take my burl here and paint it black. Looks like I got it all, now I'm going to leave it to dry and we'll come back later. That looks like it's all nice and dry now, so our next step is to add the flakes. Now the best way to do this is to grab some UV resin, put it in a little cup and mix it all together. Now the more flakes you use, the better the result's going to be. Once I've mixed it, I'm just going to use a brush to put it on. So I've just put my UV resin in first, now I'm going to drop some flakes in. How cool does that look? It's so trippy. Now I'll just give it a good mix together. I'm really happy with that consistency, so now I'm just going to brush it on. These flakes are amazing. The angle that you guys are seeing it, it's green, but the angle that I'm looking at it, it's purple. So you'll notice that I'm painting the sides. Even though I'm going to turn most of this off, there's a good chance that I may leave a little bit behind, and I want to make sure that any bit that is left behind still has the colour shift on it. So 
So I'm all finished and I have a little bit left over, but that's all good because I can just cover it up and use it on my next one. Check out how different it looks. You guys were seeing it green from up top and on the side here, it's like a purple. Now the next step is to cure the UV resin. Now I could take this outside for about 15 minutes, but instead I'm going to take my UV torch and run it over the top. Now it's time to pop it into the mold. Now the mold I'm using is this plastic container. Now because the resin gives off a lot of heat during the curing process, I've made sure that it's microwave safe, so hopefully we don't have any failures. So the burl doesn't float to the top when we pour the resin in, I'm just going to glue it down to the base. Nearly forgot. Just going to spray some mold release inside. All right, let's try that again. Perfect. Now it's time to mix the resin. Now I'll be using Artcast by Just Resin. This is the slow set version and it's mixed at a ratio of three to one. If you'd like to try this resin for yourself or any of their pigments, you can grab 10% off by using code word BENSWORKS10. I must say I'm a bit nervous about this one. I've never done a pour this deep and I just don't know if the resin's gonna hold up to it being poured so thick with the heat. But I guess there's only one way to find out. And that's to do it. I gotta say, I am really worried about this. There is a lot of resin. It's about 1.2 liters that I'm putting in here. Well, that's about all we can do. The next step is to put it in the pressure pot. I'll leave it in there for about four hours. And hopefully when I take the lid off, we're not doing a disaster thumbnail. I gotta say, I'm super nervous about this. I have a really bad feeling it's failed. Let's undo it and see what we got. We'll cross our fingers, it's a good cast. Wow, look at that. No disaster. It looks like we've got a beautiful casting. I've got to admit, I was so worried. I honestly thought I was going to lift this lid and find a complete failure. And it's still really warm too. It has been just on four hours. So I think the next step is to pop it out. We'll have a good look at it. I'm just going to pop it on the ground and give it a couple of taps. Okay, I got it to move a bit. There we have it. The mold's still in good shape, so I can use that again. Now, I did get a bit of a trapped air bubble here, but that's okay. That'll turn off when I shade the egg. Apart from that, this looks like a really nice casting. Really happy with how that's turned out. You can see the color shift there. Looks amazing. The next thing I need to do is glue a waste block to the back of this, so I have some way of mounting it to the lathe. But before I do that, I just want to wait a couple of days. I want to make sure this resin is fully cured before I turn it on the lathe. So we'll let this sit and we'll come back in a few days. So it's been a few days and it's now time to glue it to the waste block. Now normally I use a waste block about this size, because my blanks are a bit smaller, I just glue them like that and then I can fit it into my chuck. Because my chuck's not big enough to handle this blank, I'm going to go ahead and use my faceplate. Now I had an old piece of timber on here attached from a previous project. All I've done is flatten the front edge and I'm going to glue this to the back. And to do that, I'm just going to use some 5 minute epoxy. I'm just making sure I get it as center as possible. That way we don't have too much run out when it's on the lathe. 
So I'll just leave this now to set overnight and we'll come back tomorrow. So you can see there that that took me quite a long time to shake this one up. I wanted to make sure I got the curves just right. I didn't want them to be too sharp. So now I'm going to go put it on the other lathe and start sanding it up. I'm just going to start off with a bit of 400. Then I'll go 600, 800 and 1200. So that's 800 finish. Now I've just got to run over to 1200 and then we can polish it up. Now that the polishing's all finished, it's back on the lathe to part it off. Now I'm just going to clean the bottom up, give it a polish and we're done. What did you think of my giant dragon egg? This thing is massive. It's so much bigger to the eggs that I normally make and it's so heavy as well. I really want to give it a name, but I don't know what to call it. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think we should call it. When you look at this egg, the color shifting pigments work really well. You can see them shift from green to purple. I found while I was filming, it was a bit hard for me to pick up those colors, 
But when you look at it in real life, it looks amazing. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I know you've been asking for it for a while. If you guys want to buy any of my small eggs, I have them for sale in my Etsy store. I'll leave a link at the top and in the description. One other thing before I go, I'm now putting out videos every week. So if it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell so you won't miss an episode. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.